Good morning, ESM. Today is Tuesday, October 13th. And it's day three. Now on to your news with Elena. In news this morning, Nicole, a woman from Canada, returned stolen artifacts from Pompeii after 15 years. She explained that she was returning them because they had plagued her with a curse as she has suffered two bouts of breast cancer resulting in a double mastectomy and her family has also been in financial trouble. She isn't the only one either. There have been reports of hundreds of tourists returning artifacts over time due to the same curse. In other news, 30-year-old Michelle Veneta had been accused of threatening a fellow driver with a BB gun due to road rage on Route 481 near the Seoul Road on ramp last Friday. Veneta was charged with misdemeanor menacing. She has been ordered to return to court later this month and no further information has been released. In other news, two central New York school districts are now requiring students to wear masks at all times. Cato Meridian Central School District and Reedsport Central Schools started the school year allowing students to take off their masks when six feet apart. However, after a coronavirus case in late September, the, act, the schools are now requiring students to wear masks at all times. In our district, it has come to light this week that multiple families in the ESM district have been tested positive for COVID. So far, we know that some cases have turned virtual and ESC went virtual last Friday. Pine Grove is still doing in-person classes today because the Columbus Day holiday allowed enough time in between the confirmation and school opening. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So last week, Aiden and I were talking all about apples. From the new Cosmic Crisp Apple to the Apple lawsuit. So continuing with that theme, the new iPhone 12 is coming out today at 10 a.m. Sources say to expect four iPhones in three display sizes. At a rumored 5.4 inches, the 2020 iPhone 12 will be the smallest iPhone Apple has released since the 4.7 inch iPhone SE. More on that after your weather with Grayson. Today we won't really have that many showers, but later in the day we will have a couple showers for about maybe four hours, so not going to be too much rain today, but today we will be having showers in the middle of the day, like I said before, with a high of 61 degrees and a low of 43 degrees with sun later in the day. Wednesday will be sunny with highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s, with the rest of the week being rainy with highs with with highs in the 60s 70s going down to the 50s with all lows all near the 40s I'm Grayson with your weather At 6.7 inches, the iPhone will be Apple's largest to date, topping the 6.5 inch iPhone 11 Pro Max. The model should look similar to the existing iPhone 11. In regards to the design, rumors suggest the new iPhones will feature a significant redesign with a metal frame similar to that of the iPhone 4 and the iPad Pro. This will bring the design in line with the 2020 iPad Pro models. There has also been talk of higher end technology in the new phones with triple lens cameras and a camera system that uses a laser to calculate the depth information. 2020 will also be the first year that Apple introduces 5G support in this iPhone, allowing the devices to connect to 5G networks. Which are much faster than the 4G LTE networks. Now on to sports with Grace. The girls' soccer team beat Liverpool 1-0 yesterday in overtime. The field hockey lost 1-0 against FM, and the tennis team also lost against Auburn. The NBA, the Lakers won the series final against the Miami Heat. The final game score was 106-93. to 
LeBron James led the team with 28 points and was also the MVP of the series. LeBron now has won four championships with three teams. On Sunday, the Las Vegas Raiders um, upset the Super Bowl champions from last year, the Kansas City Chiefs, 40-32. to Quarterback Derek Carr tore up the Chiefs' defense, throwing for 347 yards, three touchdowns, and an overall passer rating of 126.7. The Chiefs are no longer undefeated and now 4-1. Um, to one. Last night, um, the Los Angeles Chargers lost to the New Orleans Saints 30-27 to in overtime. At halftime, the Chargers were up 17 points. In the second half, Drew Brees led the Saints to a comeback to steal the game from the Chargers. MLB executive dead at um, 64. Jimmy Lee Solomon was among the highest ranking black officials. I'm graced with your sports. And if you didn't notice today, the teleprompter is not working. But that's all we have for you this morning. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> and from Aiden, myself, and everyone here at Spartan News, have a great day.